Hi guys, how are you doing? Today is New Guitar Day and I'm going to be showing you the Jackson DK2 2020 in neon pink. This is a Pro Series guitar and it is so pink. It's insane how pink it is. I've tried three different cameras to try and capture how pink this guitar is, how vivid the colour is, how bright it is, how three-dimensional it is. I just can't get it across on camera. It always looks a bit reddish to the naked eye and in daylight, trust me, this is so pink. I don't know how they got it so pink. It's absolutely gorgeous. It plays like a dream. The first thing I noticed when I got the guitar out of the box was the beautiful black binding around the headstock there. It really makes the black logo and the neon pink kind of clash almost and the black just jumps out at you. On the back of the headstock, I saw something that I was so pleased about. They say little things please little minds and all of that. But look there, there you go. It's a good old Allen wrench holder on the back of the headstock, which to me, all guitars should have. I did see on a forum once people voting whether they like them or not, Jackson users. And 80% wanted those on the headstock. <laughs> very very lightly finished it's very smooth very natural feeling like what you would expect from the mexican factory very similar feel to the charvels that are made in the mexican factory as well for those of you that are familiar to charvels this is a jackson speed neck and it's very very fast it's a great setup that they've done for me <laughs> The neck is a two-piece. You can see the scarf joint there. I call them a two-piece anyway. It's silky smooth like butter. Brilliant finish on there. <laughs> Let's look down the board. As you can see, this one is particularly very, very dark ebony. I like that. The frets are all rounded off and silky smooth. <laughs> Now, when I first plugged this guitar in, I had to check the specs. I got the specs up on my phone straight away because if I'd have done a blind test, I would have said that these were actually a set of distortions in there because the guitar is very angry. It screams at you. It growls at you. It's quite dark sounding, but the harmonics and everything still scream out. This is actually a JB in the bridge and a 59 in the neck. And like I say, there's that much gain from this guitar that I, I honestly thought that these were distortions, but that's a good thing. If you look on the back of this guitar, you can see a nice cutaway there. I'm trying to catch it in the light so you can see. It comes down, it starts around here, it comes down there, and what this does is it makes the heel there really, really slight, so you don't have a handful of a heel when you're playing up high. The trim on this guitar is a Floyd Rose FRT 1000. There's a five-way selector switch. I will be doing another video involving this guitar, and I will be comparing it to my 2020 DK2 Green Glow Ash model, which is made in Korea. Now, it makes sense to me, now I own both, why Jackson are making some of these in Korea and some of these in Mexico. They are quite different guitars. They sound different for sure. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Click the bell. Please leave me a comment below and let me know what you guys think about the neon pink. In a few weeks, I have a comparison video between the EVH Stealth and the EL34S50 watt model. I'll see you all soon. Take care.